Welcome to our lesson. We're going to have a go at doing a scary furry monster character using an oval shape. So to start off with in the middle of our page, nice and lightly with your pencil, I'm going to draw a nice oval shape like that. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. And we want to make sure and leave plenty of room at the top and the bottom because we're going to add legs and some other stuff in at the top. Okay, so the first thing we need to do once we've done our oval is we're going to add the fur in first. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. We're going to sort of follow this oval shape and draw our fur in like this, just around big and small lines like this. So I'm drawing it so it's hanging down. But as I get to the top, I might change it up a little bit. Can draw big and small bits. And this is where you sort of start working out what sort of hair you want him to have. So I'm doing lots of, I'm mixing it up big and small. Because when you're doing fur, it's always good to have variety. If you look at that now, it looks quite interesting before we've even started. And then the next thing we need to do is just get rid of that uh, um, oval shape. So we started with the oval, and then we've added in our fur around the edge. So you can pause the video now if you want to while you do that and then come back. And once you've done that, you're just going to get your eraser a rubber and rub out the oval in the middle of that shape. So I would be recommending that you draw nice and lightly so you can rub out easily. Okay, so you've got all that done. We're ready to start adding in our details to the face. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some eyes like this. Now remember, we are going to make him look angry, so I'll show you how we're going to do that in a second. We're going to add some nice circle shapes and then might even add a couple more inside. You can leave them as they are and add colour later or we can colour them in black now. Now to add in the eyebrows, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do oops, a whole heap of lines like that. You can also just go like that if you want to. Scribble them in. So I'll do that again for you. All I'm doing is just adding a whole lot of lines like that. Fairly close, so they look like they're all one big eyebrow. And we have our eyebrows. We might come back and work on them a bit more later. Now under the eye, I'm going to add just some curved lines under his eyes like this. Just looks like wrinkles, makes him look a bit more angry. And we definitely get the feeling that he is not happy. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add a angry mouth or unhappy mouth, which is definitely not going to be like this, is it? That's more evil or like he's scheming something or he's happy that something's gone bad. I'm going to do a mouth like that. And on the end of that mouth, I'm just going to add a couple of little cheek shapes. So you could do dimples like that which look all right, or we could actually just add some cheek shapes like that. Now, we can add in some teeth. You could do them this way, so just watching what I do. We could add some teeth in like this. Just add a whole lot like that if you wanted to. Or we can add them get down the other way, and that would still work as well, which I quite like that. I might just add in some smaller other teeth. 
or we can just leave the fangs. Could also do a little line for the bottom lip there. Okay, so we started off with an oval, then we added our fur in, and now we've gone through and added all our facial stuff in. I haven't given him a nose. You could do nostrils if you wanted to, that would work all right, but I'm going to leave him without a nose this time. Okay, so let's do our arms. Now I'm going to give him big arms, so I'm going to do a couple of lines like this, again using the fur. I want them to be fairly big, like that, and we'll come and add his hands in a minute. And for the feet, I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw one line down like this, or legs, I should say, like that, and then another line in the middle like this, and we're going to come and add his legs in a minute. Now, if I want to make them bigger, I just draw the lines a bit bigger like this, more further apart. And then I'm just going to do a line down the middle like that. Okay, so let's add in his hands. Now, I'm not going to give him dainty little hands like this. That's not going to work. I want to give him nice big hands. So I'm going to do a thumb. Then curve it down like this. So I'll do that again for you. A thumb. Curve down. And then back up like a sausage shape. And then we're going to overlap a couple of other fingers like that. So I'll do that again for you. I might want to make his fingers a bit more curved. And then you're welcome to add in Like that on the other. So I might just thicken these fingers up a bit to match the other one. And then we're going to add some nails. So we're just doing nails like this. Curve line down and curve line back or you can go like that. And this will make him look definitely not friendly. So the sharp teeth and the sharp claws are a bit of a giveaway. Okay, so for the top of his feet, I'm going to draw them down like this. So we'll just bring this up a little bit. We're going to make sure this lines to the bottom. And then at the bottom of his feet, I'm just going to do some more spiky bits right across. So I might stop in the middle there. And you'll notice that I've got the fur going that way on that foot. And on this one, I'm going to do it like this. And then we can add, you could actually add some lines in like this. And then add some little spikes, like little claws like that if you wanted to. If you wanted to do that, you're welcome to do that. Or you can make up your own claws. Now, we need to rub out a few little things here. So I'm going to rub out just this part of the body that goes to the top of the arm. But I'm going to leave a bit of the body here. So you can even rub all that out and just add a little bit in like that. So we want it overlapping, the body overlapping the arm. And then the same thing at the other side. And that works quite well, I think. And we're going to do the same with the legs, but we're going to leave a bit of the fur just in the middle part there. So it looks like the bottom of his belly. And there's our monster. Now we're ready to add more detail in. So we could add, add lots of lines like this for fur. And you don't need to cover the whole body. If you look at what I'm doing, I'm just following along. I'm going sort of down along the body, sort of following the curve of it like that. And we're going big to small. Can even do a couple together. So you can add lots of this. I'm just going to add it quickly so you can see. And then for his belly there, I might just add some there. That gives a bit more detail. 
and definitely underneath the arms it looks a bit of like a bit of shadow and there's our monster so you can ink him in when you finish him off and that which is like outlining with a pen or marker add color we can definitely add a background adding a line in for the horizon line and you can add all sorts of stuff there and stuff above him you can add speech bubbles to finish him off and we can add more detail in if you wanted to add more lines into his eyes you could add a few movement lines like he's really angry and sometimes with angry characters we might even put a cloud shape like that that could work as well if you wanted to do that okay so I hope you had fun doing this angry furry monster character using a simple oval shape and uh, have a lot of fun sharing this with other people don't scare them too much and the last thing you can do with this character besides finishing the picture off is think about a name for your character and maybe a story ideas about your character often if you come up with a name it will give you ideas for a story or a comic or something to do with your character and use him for that and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Easy Cartoon Drawing School, for more free lessons to be notified when they're up. And there's one-on-one -on -one lessons online available. And also we have a Facebook group where you can come and post your pictures and get feedback and uh, do all other sorts of fun things in that group, learning about cartooning. Okay, happy cartooning. Mm -hmm.